Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be embellishing this watermelon album that I made, which I do have a tutorial on, so I will have that link down below as well. But today we're going to be embellishing this cutie and adding some stickers and ephemera, um, maybe a couple more pockets. So let's get started and we'll see what we come up with. All right, so stay tuned. Right, guys so first thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna move away my stickers to the side for now um, we'll worry about decorating the front cover later first thing I want to do so here I knew I wanted to have a um, a tuck spot so let's see what we could come up with and I know I want some goodies in there A little too big. Um, let's see what ephemera I have. Just, it's about to get real messy on this desk, guys. <laughs> Very messy. Maybe we could use this little thing. We could have a cute little tuck spot like that. All right, so let's glue that down. So we're just gonna glue it down on the edge there. And something like that. Hopefully that stays in place. That's pretty good. Um, and then maybe let's add a little tag. Let me cut up a bunch of these strings. I, I um, have the digital as well. I ended up getting it because I couldn't use that tag paper um, because I ended up using it in the project. So I just got um, some of the digital version and we're just gonna included in here. All right, so I'm just using like this random twine that I had. Um, so let's just add some twine to this tag and maybe that will look cute here. I'm trying to keep it with the strawberries and the strawberries, if you guys could tell, um, since there's strawberries here. That looks cute. All right, I think that will hold. Um, then the next page, let's just add some cut up parts. Should we go with more strawberries? The strawberries here. Oh, that looks cute. And let's see if we can add a tag in here also. I guess this one. sticker. Let's see, this one says happy summer days. Um, no, maybe I want a different one. Let's go with this um, blue one. And this one is actually a print and cut one. So I'll just decorate this pocket a little bit. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And let's try to add a sticker. That looks cute. 
So we'll have that little watermelon there. All right, let's go on to our next page. Um, I'm trying to use up some stickers also, guys. <laughs> let's see. Mm. Maybe we'll just put like a little flag here. And the sticker that says happy summer days. Just to decorate a little bit. Um, I feel like it needs a flower maybe. There's this like teeny little flower on here on the sticker sheet. So let's try to use that. Cute. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna try to skip one and then I'll come back to it if I have more stickers that I feel that I could use. For this one, let's go with maybe this little bicycle. Okay, we could do this. Uh, we just have to cut it in half. This is something I did with my other watermelon albums. And we're just gonna cut in half. And then we're gonna place it on the edge here. And then combine the pieces. Oh, that goes back here. So we're just combining it across the two different pages. Make sure that still folds. Yep. There we go. So there's that. Let's skip one. We'll go on to the next one. Maybe here. Let's add some flowers. So again, I'm just pulling from my sticker sheet. And let's do the same thing here. So we're going to cut him in half. We're just going to put him on the other side now. On the right hand side. Okay, here I have like a little scrap vellum piece and I'm thinking of adding it here just as like another little pocket. So for that I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac because it won't show um, like the glue through and it'll dry clear. I mean it might show a little bit but alright let's see. So we, up to this red pink line I guess we need a little bit of glue so I'm just going to put it on top of where I have that stitching. So on top of where I have my thread up to that pink line. All right, so again, just a scrap of vellum piece and I'm just gonna put them right down here. Okay, I'm just gonna cut off the rest of this. So now we have this cute little pocket, we could add some goodies into here. Um, okay, let's add this. And then maybe we could add like a sticker as well and just back it onto some cardstock. Okay, so that looks cute. I'm just grabbing some scrap cardstock and I'm gonna put a sticker down onto here. I'm gonna try to line it up so we don't have to cut a lot.
Okay, and maybe that will look cute in there. Maybe on top. Let's just go with that. All right, so next page. Let's add more cut parts because here we have a belly band. So maybe, maybe just two cut parts. And I like to just like stagger them so you could see a little bit of both. Alrighty, moving on. Let's leave one blank. Let's go on to here. Um, I need something here. Let's do a little tuck spot. This one's so big. <laughs> mm, maybe we have a sticker. I like the little stamp. I gotta figure out a way to use the stamp. I don't think I want it here. Let's try one of these. Happy summer, hello summer days. That looks kind of cute. Could also do when life gives you lemons. I like this. I just, I want this on back, uh, on like a gold back. So let me get some gold scraps. All right, guys, I got some gold scrappies. So I'm just going to glue this down, the whole thing to my gold paper. And I'm going to leave a little bit of a bordered edge and then we'll cut around it and this has rounded corners so we'll cut around that also And we're just gonna glue this down on that very bottom so it's like a little tuck spot so see all the glue okay so we got ourselves a little tuck spot and let's add a tag in here I only have these three All right, guys, so let's leave that one there. Then moving on to this next one, we'll do another cut apart and let's do another tag. All right, so let's go with this. And we need some decoration here. So let's see, we need another sticker. Um, I kind of like this, just a little square. Okay, and then we'll do a sticker also. Oh. Okay, let's do something like that and maybe a flower sticker. Oh man, I should have done that before. All right, so maybe something like that. Okay, so next page leave this one blank and let's go on to this one let's decorate this one a little bit I want to try and use some of these guys and we could also make them as to little tuck spots so let me cut this one create beautiful ah I don't want to cut that one <laughs> let's try another one summer love this one we could cut in half all right so I'm gonna put some glue on the top and a little bit more just so this could be like a little tuck spot 
So you could still tuck something underneath it. We're gonna line that up with the edge right there. And then the same thing on the top. Some glue and leave the rest open to have a nice little tuck spot. I don't know how well that's gonna work on the edge here, but is that like a little? Okay, that's a little tuck spot, so I'll leave that open. Maybe we'll come back to it and add something in it later, but for now, let's just leave it. Um, then let's add something here. Um, maybe we'll use one of those stamps this time. I really like the stamps. Let's use maybe, what color did we just have? We had blue. So maybe let's use this yellowy lemon one. And this is not a tuck spot. I'm just gluing that down. And there's this teeny, teeny, teeny sticker that says Choose Joy. So I'm just gonna put that with that little stamp right there. Okay, skip one, go on to that last one. And let's add a sticker here. And maybe we'll do this little mask it. And let's just put that up here just to add some decoration. Okay, and then we'll do this page. I think let's do another tuck spot here. And when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. But we're gonna need to have a cut apart in there. Oh, maybe let's fold this one in half. This has a little note to say. We could include that in here and that matches. So hopefully this is big enough. You know what, let's mat it onto the gold. Okay, so we're gonna glue this down. Okay, and then let's glue just the bottom down so we can have our little tuck spot. And I'm gonna have it come off the edges a little bit and then we'll cut off that piece. Just want to make sure I'll be able to tuck that um, that piece in. All right, so it fits, perfect. All right, so then we'll go on to the next one. We got to do more cut-up parts in here. Let's do this one, and maybe we'll do. This one also, let the sun shine in. Okay, moving on. Here, let's do like, let's use some of the scrappies from these journal pages just so I can show you guys how to use up those. So this is a scrap that I had, right? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a little like flip book here and I'm just gonna stitch on the top here just so it kind of blends in with the stitching. So I'm gonna stitch that and I'll be right back in a second, but I'm just gonna stitch across the top just so they're all stuck together. All right, guys, I stitched across the top. That's all I did. I just wanna make sure that they're all kind of somewhat stitched so no pages are gonna come out and I think that's good. So they're gonna go right here. I needed to do like very little just so that the stitching lines up with the rest of this. And now I'm gonna cut this shorter because I want the stitching to show on the bottom too. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit and then we're gonna cut around this edge so that we keep that watermelon shape. Uh-oh, something fell out. All right, we gotta put that back. 
Um, and then if I move this up, you can still see that stitching. So I'm gonna glue this down, but before I do that, I need to make sure that these open up and that there's still space for the glue. So I'm just gonna make our fold line and all of these are gonna fold up along that same edge. So that way it has a piece that's stuck down and then you could still open it up and then write stuff on them and be able to flip it. All right, so this is where we're gonna add glue now. So I'm gonna use my fabric tack here to make sure it's gonna stick down I'm gonna kind of unfold it and that's gonna go right here so there we go we made a little booklet and we used up our pink dyed paper scraps let me put this back because this fell out stay because we turned it upside down too. Okay, so we got that and let's add a little bit of a decoration on the other side. So let's see what sticker we could do. Maybe the flower. All right, we could do that. Let's cut him in half. And we're gonna stick him down. There we go. All right, so that is our inside of the book. And then we just need a couple of things. So we need to decorate the outside. And last time in my watermelon album, I didn't add tags inside. So they didn't have this extra bulk. If you wanna take those out, you could feel free to do that. But we still have tags to add in in between some of these pages. So we still gotta do that. And we also gotta decorate the front of our um, little album. So I have a little scrappy here. I'm gonna try and do that like folding technique thingy. I don't really know how to do this, but we're gonna try. And give me some higher. And maybe one more. This paper is so hard to fold because it's so thick. All right, that's good. I'm gonna go stitch that so that it just stays together. Okay guys, we got some stitched piece. Maybe let's add this here. And let me show you guys what I print and cut. All right, so I print and cut some flowers from the summer collection. This I just did in my silhouette, just using two different fonts that I have. And then this one is from Pool Party, just a watermelon. I wanted something different. There was a watermelon in the summer one, but I wanted this one to stand out a little bit more. So, let's see. If I do something like this. Maybe let's do something like that. So, Let's add some, this one's the back piece, so let's add some foam sticker adhesive to that.
Okay, and I'm gonna add some hot glue. Let's figure out where I wanted this. Um, maybe like that. Okay, and then we're gonna glue this guy down. I know we wanted this flower. I feel like we need some thread behind the Hello Summer, but let me glue this down. So the couple little flowers will go on the edge here. And that adds a little dimension because it's on the edge of this thing right here. Then we're gonna add some thread on the back of this thing that says Hello Summer. So in order to do that, I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on the back just so it has something to adhere to. And I always do that. I take off a little too much. Just wanna make sure it's everywhere. And I have some thread here. So I'm just gonna roll it up against around two fingers a bunch, cut some off, and then start organizing it on this thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some more tape. Or actually, let's add some hot glue to the back of this and that way it'll stay in place. Just gotta make sure it really does stay. So you just press down and I have this like finger thing to protect my fingers. All right, so that's gonna stay in place now. And then we could glue that down to here. Okay, and then we had this flower. Maybe we'll just, could have left that open a little bit more, but we'll add, them, add that guy right there. Okay, so there's that. Let's add some enamel dots to this so I have some from the same collection Alright guys, decorated with some enamel dots and that's what we got for the front cover. Alright guys, so I pre-made some uh, 
charm things. All I did was take some beads, use this thing and this handy tool that kind of creates that little circle on top. So I could have that link down below, but it creates a little circle. So I have a bunch of like beads and I have this charm that I want to use and add into this um, album. So I now have a little ring thing and I'm just going to add all my pieces to this little jump ring. And then I'm going to add that to the star paper clip, which I don't know where it needs to go, but for now, well, let's just add it right here. We, we can move it around. Obviously you can move them around on paper clips. I want to make sure I got that right so it doesn't open up and I'm going to add this to my album down here. Oh, I got it on the right one. Look at that. Oh, no. Let me flip this. I just want the, um, the watermelon to be showing. All right, so that is going to be my little dangle right there. And he's just attached again on the star paper clip that I have here now. Um, so now let's make the tags that are going to go inside my album. So let me clean up a little bit here and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I left a couple of pieces out, but what I'm going to do is bring in my pink cardstock. So I need to take this out and this is what we're going to be using to make my tags. And again, remember that I'm making two, so I need to kind of double everything. Um, so I'm going to have these, I need some scrappies. Um, okay. That looks like it's going to be good. So I just grabbed some wider scrap. I'm thinking these are like two and a half inches maybe. So I'm going to cut these down to make sure that they're two and a half because kind of the widest that, oh no, sorry. Yeah. The widest you could go in my punch is like two and a half. You could go a little wider, but, um, the maximum that you're supposed to do is two and a half. So I'm just going to cut these all down to two and a half by, um, this one is like four and three quarters. Let me see if that fits in here. Oh, let's make them smaller. Let's make them two inches. Okay, so maybe two by four inches. Let's do that. So I'm gonna cut eight of them because like I said, I'm making two. So two by four. And now all I'm gonna do is go through all of my scraps. So I'm still gonna need my paper cutter, so I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, let's put that up there. Okay, so we just need to cut our scraps. So I'm just gonna be pulling from this. These are all the scraps that I had. So I'm just gonna start cutting them. If I can make any like two inches, then that will be good. this be two by four oh, it could be so I'm gonna cut this to where that my last point is and this is bigger than two by four it's four and a half so let's cut the first piece at four wait what am I doing now let's cut this first piece at two and I'm gonna do some paper piecing because I like the double layered look with these things. Um, so let me start, like, I just like doing some ripping in here. So that will be one tag. So I'm gonna glue that.
So something like that. And we actually cut off the summer thing, which we could put on here. Um, we'll come back to that. We'll see what decorating we're gonna do. But right now I'm just gonna make eight different kinds of tags. So I'm gonna keep pulling from my scraps. I really like this, but I feel like I wanna use this in a different project and maybe make like a library card because I still have more of this uh, paper. Like I have a whole other set. Um, so maybe I'll do that. So let's just cut some more scrappies down. Let's just make this one a regular one. So we'll glue this one to here. Okay, so that's another one. Let's keep going. So let's use this one. And I'm trying to just use up all my bigger scraps here. Um, maybe we'll do this one. Hold on, this one I'm gonna cut down here because maybe we'll wanna do some ripping with this one. Okay, we could do this. Actually, I almost feel like this one should get some ripping. So we're gonna cut one down at two. Okay, and then some ripping. Okay, we'll do that. And that's just how I make some tags, guys, using up some of my scrappies. Um, I know you guys wanted to see another video on how I make them, so I do have more scraps that I could just make another video on. Um, not with this collection, obviously some other collection, but it's just a way to show you guys that I use my scrappies in different ways and also just making some like journal cards, which I'll probably do with that other one also. So I'm definitely going to do another video on that. But just for this video, since I'm already needing to make these, just thought I would show you guys quickly how I make some. Um, let's see what other scraps I have. Oh, I have another watermelon one, so I could put one in each. Not watermelon, lemon. I really want to be able to put one in each, so that's good. Let's cut this one down at two. And this time, we'll go this way. So I have one of each of those. That's gonna be perfect. Now I feel like I need, all right, this one's close enough to that one. So let me cut this one. And that one's got some ripping as well. So let's do another two inch. This one's going to get some smaller ripping.
So we have one of each of the um, the lemon. Now let's do that one. Um, that one here, I guess, and this one here. We have this other one. Let's see what else. We have this flower one. So I guess this one we could just cut down to full size. And then we'll have two flower ones for each. Okay, so there's a flower one for each album. And then I cut down that stripey, but I don't think I have another stripe. Oh, I do have another stripe. All right, because I'm trying to make the same, um, make them similar, I'll just cut that off. We'll do the stripes. Okay, and I feel like I want another color. Let's add some blue, I guess. This is just a good way to use up some of your... Okay guys, my um, phone space storage ran out, so I hope you guys didn't miss much. But anyway, I'm just gonna take this and I am gonna cut it in half, so it's about four and a half, so let's cut this at like two and a quarter. And I'm gonna do some ripping on these guys. I just like to do that. Okay, and I'm just gonna put them onto these tags. And they're all gonna have that pink base because obviously I can't have like cut aparts on the back like this. And I also want you to be able to like, or the recipient to be able to like write stuff down on the back. Um, okay, I didn't cut this one at four inches. But that's fine. I'm gonna press that down. I'm gonna let this one dry a little bit before I cut that off. And let's make sure to cut this one at four inches. And this is my last tag. Cause then I'll have eight. Four for each album. So I have these little scrappies left over. These, I'm just gonna throw these out. I still have some bigger scraps, but that's fine. Because like I said, I have more of this paper and I definitely wanna make some other projects with it eventually. Don't know when, I'm just trying to use that paper, but at the same time, I wanna be able to use different kinds of papers, I don't know. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is start putting these into my um, my uh, punch. So I'm gonna line it up with the two inches. Okay, and you flip it, and from there, this doesn't wanna punch through all this cardstock. That's gonna be rough. a little too thick for him so I'm gonna start punching it on the other side where I don't have as much paper all right or I don't have like the millions of layers so like this one this one's in a third layer so I gotta punch him on this side same here I got a punch on the lemon side all 
All right, guys, so I have all of my tags. See how easy that was to get the nice shape? I love this punch, guys. I love it so much. It's from Hobby Lobby. I can have that link down below. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is add eyelets to all of these, and they're just gonna be some gold eyelets. Now, these ones are from AliExpress, and they're one-fourth size inch. Um, they're really hard to use, though. Like, you gotta press down really hard. If you get, like, you know, name brand eyelets, they work fine. But these ones are so hard, so I just kind of do it, but they are really hard to work with. So just putting that out there. I could have a link down below. Um, but obviously the name brand is easier to use your eyelet with. Okay, so I got the four right there, and let's do the other four. All right guys, so then what you could do here is decorate them. So I have my four. Um, I don't know if I want to decorate them. Maybe, I, I don't know. I was thinking these things, but these are a little big. So I think we're just gonna leave them. And now I'm just gonna take out some um, seam binding that I have in my stash and try to coordinate them. So maybe we'll use some of this peachy color. This one is called Cameo. And I'm gonna have the shop I get all my seam binding from linked down below. I get all my colors from her. So I'm just gonna cut two of those. And there's no specific length I'm cutting this. I just kind of cut. So these ones I want for my little lemon. Then let's do this pink one. Oh, that's a scrappy. Should I use that? Didn't realize I had it. But I always, normally use my scrappies if I have any. Okay, so let's do two of these, or, you know, one for each album. And. I want it on this guy. I have some minty green in my stash. Maybe some darker green. I kind of like the minty green. So let's do some of those, some of that. That's all I have left of this one. So I'll just use some of that. I'm going to use this for the flowery one. I, you could do all the same color. I just like to do different colors, so that's just me. Okay, and then I need another color. I think this yellow is too bright. Let's try like a blue, like a light blue. Maybe a little darker. Oh, let's do that one. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of this one. And I just kind of cut, so I fold it in half and then I cut where I think I'll have enough. And they kind of stretch out because this is the like crinkled seam binding. So if anything, stretches out a little bit. 
All right, so I'm gonna save four for my other album, but I'm gonna show you guys in this one, anywhere there's like a little tuck spot. Um, so I have one here. Here we don't want stripes, obviously, because we have stripes on this paper. So here I'm gonna add this one between the layers, just like that, okay? And this one, we've got that grid pattern. So let's do this one here. And you guys remember we left this open. So like here, and you just tuck them in. And I try to tuck it in with the eyelet in there because then when you pull it out, you just have like these little like seam binding pieces sticking out and that's fine. Um, I just like to hide it with the other layer. And then I have one more here. So let's do this one. And let's make this one lemon. And then I have one in the back right here. All right, so that is everything guys. You got this cute little like seam binding hanging off here. You got a little charm, super cute. So that is my whole entire um, album. All right guys, I'm gonna do another video and I'm gonna do a flip through on this cutie. So stay tuned. Um, actually, that flip through is going to be before this video and before how to make it. So you guys could check that out. And that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe and click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. And turn on your bell notifications so that you guys are notified of when I post new videos. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Hope you give this a try. And I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye.